Hi, and welcome to Kama AI's Designed Experiential Intelligence, aka Kama Day. Today, we will be demonstrating some of our conversational emotion AI capabilities through this demo website for a book retail store called Purple. Now, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner of our screen, we have our chat bot or conversational AI. This is how we can open up our virtual customer experience representative and begin a conversation. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here we can start a new conversation. Once we start a new conversation, we're greeted by our automated agent named Lavender, and we are asked to provide our email address to start a conversation. And as it states here, this is only going to be used to identify us when we return or if we have any follow up needed for our requests. So if I go ahead and put in my email, maddie at gmail.com, because I am an existing user, it's going to recognize me and say, thank you, Maddie, how may I help you? Now, this is a bookstore. If we were to visit it in person, we might want to go explore the aisles, take a look at the shelves, the books, look at the displays of what's new and in stock. But we also might want to visit a customer experience representative and ask a couple of questions asking for book recommendations, talk about what types of books we like, and of course, get their feedback on what books are most popular in the store today. In a virtual setting, let's try and replicate that by asking our virtual CER, I need a book recommendation. Now, as we type this in, we're given three different categories adult fiction, young adult fiction, and lifestyle. Of course, these categories can be expanded to include all of the genres available at Purple, or even replaced by a follow-up question asking users to tell us what genre they want. Now, I'm a big fan of young adult fiction, so let's go ahead and click young adult fiction and see what that brings us. Now, as you can see, once we've clicked this, we are given a bunch of different values that we are asked to rate. This is how Kama Day understands our personality, our preferences, and of course, our values, and uses those to customize and personalize the answers that it responds with. So for example, if I were going to put in my values here, I would put something like low adventure, high diversity, maybe not too interested in fantasy, um, a little bit of humor, and then of course, romance, because I'm a sucker for romance. And at the bottom, we see two different buttons, skip and continue and save and continue. Now, if we were to click skip and continue, this is going to disregard all these new values that we've just placed in and use whatever is pre-existing in our persona. However, we do want to use these new values, so we're going to save and continue and let them apply. Now, as we can see, we are given three different books, Felix Ever After, We Were Liars, and To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Now it's really important here to note that Felix Ever After is the first book that is presented to us. This is because the virtual CER is prioritizing the best fit book with our values and trying to nudge the user by listing it first. Because when we put the options a customer is looking for first, they're more likely to click forward and follow through when they find that the product is exactly what they were looking for. So let's go ahead and see if this is true. Is Felix Ever After the book we were looking for? By clicking here, we see a short description saying that it's a young adult novel about a transgender teen grappling with identity and self-discovery while falling in love for the first time. So already I'm seeing that diversity as it is a book about a transgender teen grappling with identity and self-discovery. And of course that falling in love for the first time aspect absolutely fills that value for romance. So. Seeing that this book is a great fit for me, I could go ahead and click on this link here, which would bring me to the book sale page. And I could go ahead and add it to my cart there and purchase the book. However, we want to continue this conversation. So let's click exit and try a new topic. Now restarting this conversation, what if we asked our question in a different way? Let's say I want another book. Well, what happens here is our natural language understanding still comprehends the sentence and gives us those three options for book recommendations, which we had 
previously be been presented when we asked for a book recommendation. Here we can go ahead and click Young Adult Fiction one more time and take a look at some different values. Now, what happens if we switch these values up? Instead of putting a low adventure, what if we did a high adventure and bump our diversity low instead? Push our fantasy up, maybe lower our humor, and let's still look for a romance novel and put it at a nine. Now again, we're going to save and continue. So these apply and change up our values. Now, as you can see, a couple things have changed here. Instead of Felix Ever After being at the top of our list, We Were Liars has bumped up to the top and Felix Ever After falling to the middle. Why is this happening? Well, by giving us different values, the books that are going to align with our values have obviously changed. So let's take a look at We Were Liars and see if this rings true. And as we can see, it's a story set on a private island about a damaged girl and a political boy, a friendship that turns destructive, a revolution, an accident, a secret. Already, we're getting that sense of adventure rather than the element of diversity being so heavily prevalent in our description. And of course, we still have that element of romance, except this time we're seeing it as a girl and a boy rather than about a transgender teen. Similarly here, we have our link, so we can go ahead and click that and purchase this book as it is a perfect fit for our values. Now to continue on, we could click exit and start a new utterance. However, we can also just begin typing a new sentence and that will automatically restart the topic. So let's try and look for more book recommendations, except let's push this one step further because utterances don't actually have to be perfect sentences. Let's say someone comes to this chatbot and assumes it's more like a search bar engine rather than a conversation. So they go ahead and type in books. Well, this is not really a question, but as it is a bookstore, we can use the logic that someone who types in the word books is probably not just making a statement about books. They're probably looking for something. This is a request and therefore we can offer some book recommendations that they can take a look at. So again, we're presented with our same three genres. This time we're going to click on lifestyle. Now again, we're brought to these value rating sliders. However, you'll notice that the values are different for this genre. We don't have diversity, we don't have romance, we don't have adventure. Now we have things like comfort and knowledge and tradition. This is because the things that we value for a lifestyle genre are going to be different than the things that we value for young adult books. And of course, we want to take those into account. This is all controlled by your knowledge managers, those who are inputting the frequently asked questions or any sorts of responses within your conversational AI. This means that it's completely customizable to include however many or however little values you want the user to rate. Now let's go ahead and rate our values for a lifestyle genre. So I'll go ahead and put high comfort. I will put high creativity and knowledge. We'll bump our spirituality low and push our tradition higher, as well as our well-being we can put a little bit lower. Now, of course, again, we'll save and continue and see what this brings us. Now we get four different responses. The first three being different books, modern comfort food, rising strong, and the power of now. And if we were to click on modern comfort food, we'll see that of course, this is a perfect fit for us. It's a comfort food recipe book with childhood favorites, things like cheddar and chutney grilled cheese sandwiches, smashed hamburgers with caramelized onions and crispy hash browns. Of course, we see that element of comfort creativity, and even some tradition with that childhood favorites element. But maybe this is not exactly what we are looking for. We can actually click back and visit our options again. Here we're brought back to those four options and we can see that last option here. You can also consider reading socks. Now, remember at the beginning, we asked for books. We did not ask for reading socks. However, because we know that we've placed our comfort value so high, and we know that reading socks is a related item 
two books, we can make the assumption that perhaps, though this person is looking for books, we could also try and market our other products that may be related. So if we were to go ahead and click reading socks, we're given this emotion message saying, especially this year, a warm pair of reading socks can really enhance your reading pleasure. Well, that's a great sales pitch and perhaps we'll go ahead and grab some reading socks to go along with our modern comfort food book. Now thus far, we've looked for random book recommendations, but not always are we coming to a store with a blank slate. Sometimes we have a specific topic in mind. In this case, what if, let's say, I was going sailing with a couple of friends in a few weeks and I want to learn how to sail so I don't look like a complete fool. I might type in then, I want to learn how to sail in 10 days. Well, what's going to show up are two different books, Fast Track to Sailing or Learn to Sail Today. Now, let's go ahead and look at the first book option. And here we can see it seems like it's more of a complicated and instructional manual, maybe less fun of a read, and a little bit more for pros. So I'll go ahead and click back and take a look at that other option, Learn to Sail Today. And through looking at that description, we see it's a lot more fun, it's quick for beginners, it's exactly what I'm looking for for an easy, quick read that's going to get me the information that I need within those 10 days. So I can go ahead and click that and add it to my cart. Now it's an important thing to note that we never actually mentioned needing a book. However, again, being a bookstore, we can use our logic to understand that if someone wants to learn about a subject, one of the ways to learn is through reading. And of course, we have plenty of books to offer. So putting those two ideas together, we can thus offer up a book to read. Now our last use case is going to take this one step further beyond book recommendations. Because Camaday is so much more than that. It understands human values and context. So if I were to say a loaded sentence like, I'm feeling sad and I need a book to cheer me up. Well, this sentence has a lot of different problems in it. We're feeling sad, we need a book, and we also need to be cheered up. Well, all three of these problems are actually being flagged. Here we see dealing with sadness, cheerful books to consider, and books to consider. Now notice again that order. Because though our main problem is that we're asking for a book, dealing with sadness is actually the first thing to pop up. And this is because Camade understands that sadness is a more important and a more highly valued emotion than material things like needing a book. And if we wanted to cheer ourselves up, dealing with that sadness first could actually be the core problem. So let's go ahead and maybe we do want to deal with our sadness. We're not really looking for a book after all. So let's go ahead and click it and see what it brings us. Now immediately we're given an emotion message empathizing with our situation. And we're also given a couple different options. You can consider books on well-being, you can consider books on dealing with depression, and you can consider speaking with a counselor. Now the first two options are still books, so it's taking into account the fact that yes, we did originally ask for a book, but perhaps this book could be more tailored towards dealing with our sadness rather than just distracting us or giving us a fun book to read that'll cheer us up. And this is where we're pushing our concept even further by introducing the possibility of listing different purple partners, company partners or external resources that could also be beneficial for our customers. So if we're given this customer who is feeling this immense sadness, we might also want to refer them to a counselor so that they can speak about this sadness they're feeling. And if we were to click on that, it'll give us some information about counseling as well as two different websites where this user can visit to get some counseling, better help or conscious counseling. And as I previously mentioned, this is a way we can incorporate company partners or purple partners into our conversations and help get the resources that our customers need even beyond what is already on our website. Now, this is something that is completely differentiated from shopping at a large scale provider, like for example, Amazon. 
It's a step towards not only brand loyalty, but creating a community. And right now, more than ever, knowing the efficacy of brands and aligning yourself with similar values is key. Being able to reach your customers on this intimate of a level is something that most large-scale providers have not taken any action toward. When people shop, they want to know that the products and companies they support also have their best interest in mind, which is why that emotional understanding when I said I'm feeling sad is so vital. People want to know they're getting the correct resources rather than just being sold a product. They want to know that your enterprise has their best interest in mind so that they can leave with a product that will satisfy the needs that they've actually expressed. Of course, we can never truly replace humans. The work in-person customer experience representatives do to understand customers on a deeper level is something so irreplaceable and unique. But in a virtual setting, virtual CERs with this level of emotional intelligence can truly change the game in creating the ultimate customer experience. If you'd like to learn more about how Camaday can enhance your customer experience or would like to explore the other advanced capabilities that Camaday can offer, please contact inquiries at cama.ai or visit our website's contact form.